What's up, my Taurus squad? So, all right, guys. Um, if you have not seen your other bonus video for our birthday time, which is not over, I hope you guys had a blast. Uh, definitely go back and check that. It is called, you know, how do they feel about you? But I posted it prior to this one, so it should be super easy to find. But let's see what's going on, guys. So, with this spread, uh, this is something that you guys chose again as a bonus for our birthday month. I let you guys choose um, of a few topics. So the top two readings, which was love and how do they, or, you know, what's going on with us relationship wise, um, you guys chose those two. Okay. So let's get into this. Now this will be for sun, moon and rising signs. And again, guys, I really want to emphasize that this is a, uh, general reading. So if you guys feel very compelled, if you feel very moved and it makes you want to take action in your relationship, you know, I would <laughs> definitely suggest a personal reading. So that we can make sure everything is smooth in your relationship or, you know, truly see what's going on, okay? That's my only uh, hesitancy when it comes to doing readings like this because there's just thousands of people watching, you know, this one reading. But let's see how it comes out, okay? So we'll be looking at both sides of a relationship. It doesn't matter if uh, you're in an official relationship or not. Just, you know, the first person you think of and the relationship that you have to them if you're romantically interested in them. Okay, so let's see what's going on between the two of you and what people are bringing to the table here. And if you guys do want this uh, exact personal reading, you can go to my website, High Vibrations with liz.com i'll put it in the description okay all right guys so let's see what's going on in this relationship the world card in the verse popped out so for some of you maybe you're just holding on maybe it seems like it's going to be over but you're still in it you're still fighting to see what will happen all right let's get into this All right, guys. So the energy that we have here for the relationship is the Empress card, which is a really good card to have. Um, this is talking about new starts. This is talking about maybe pregnancies, but there's a sense of indecision here. Okay. So a new start, not being sure if you should take this new start, maybe not being sure if you should go through with the pregnancy or, you know, get pregnant. But let's see what's going to happen. All right. Now let's start with the Taurus side of things. So the first card here is what the Taurian here brings to the table. And we have the four of wands, so they provide stability. Okay, so this is a sense of providing stability, maybe providing a literal house to live in, a roof over someone's head. Okay, let's see why this four of wands is here. Now we have the nine of wands. So stability um, and resiliency. Somebody who can really stand their ground, someone who can get through a lot of bullshit, someone who can take a lot of bullshit, okay? Uh, but there's a sense of something that you guys might not be proud of in this relationship for some reason, but you're still standing your ground a bit. Now, uh, what, where you presently are in this relationship, or how you presently feel, rather, is the Ace of Swords. So with the Ace of Swords, this is all about new starts and new beginnings, but it's also a sense of cutting out things that you don't feel are going to work. So with this being where you presently stand, uh, there could be something that you want to cut out, maybe a new start you want to have with this person, but you're still in manifestation mode. So whatever it is that you guys feel needs to be cut out, you feel like you have full control of cutting it out. And maybe it's something that's really upsetting your partner because they may feel like things are a waste of time and effort, or maybe you feel like something is a waste of time and effort right now, and that, um, you know, things are working in a very chaotic way. Now, the next card here is your hopes for the future, and we have the Four of Cups. So maybe there's an offer that the Taurus part of, 
you know, of this relationship does not want to accept. Or maybe an offer that they're hoping they're not going to get. Okay. And with the Five of Wands in the verse, it's like, uh, you know, with the Taurus sign, you really just want to avoid anything that could seem, uh, that can add tension to the situation at all. So you don't want fighting, bickering, gossip, you know, feeling like you have to compete for someone and maybe making them feel like they have to compete for you. So you just want to avoid problems. So maybe for the tour side, you don't want this to go any further. Okay. You just want happiness. Now, what they're hoping for in the future is the four of pentacles in the verse. So in regards to this card, this is going to be someone who is extremely guarded. Okay. Either they're withholding something very strongly or they're just very guarded towards you. But we have the lover's card. So there could be the sense of them wanting to guard something that is not known and remain in this relationship. Or a sense of them just feeling very guarded and protective over this relationship. Okay. Um, but there's a sense of happiness that this person wants to find. And, you know, balance that they may be struggling to find with their Taurus. The next card here is where they presently stand in this and the Ace of Cups. So wanting this to be there, wanting this new start, wanting to be emotionally fulfilled by this, okay? Maybe they want things to go back to the past or maybe this person is hoping to go back to someone from their past. But we have the Knight of Wands in their verse. So this person could be seeing other people, okay? Definitely someone from the past that maybe they are passionate about. So it's like they, you know, for what I'm picking up is that they want a sense of balance, but this person may want to have their cake and eat it too, okay? Now, the next card is what they provide to this relationship right now. And we have the Ten of Pentacles, so they could provide money, okay? They could provide a large sense of abundance in certain areas of your life. We have the Moon card in the verse. So this is a card about secrets that uh, come out or clarity that you get, you know, an epiphany, an aha moment. So maybe this person has really helped the Taurus in this to realize something, to discover something that could be helpful to the Taurian. But I feel like this person is being fake and dishonest, okay? I feel like this person um, could be talking to someone from the past with the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Now, if... Uh, that would apply definitely if this is someone you're actively talking to. Um, if you guys are not speaking or you're not romantically together right now, then they could just be hoping to get back with you, okay? Now, how you presently feel towards them is the Eight of Swords in the reverse, where you don't want to feel that sense of trapness. You, um, it's like you're seeing everything clearly for what it is. All right, we have the three of pentacles in the reverse, and you might be feeling like, look, this is not going to work. We don't see eye to eye, all right? But with the five of cups in the reverse, if there's any sense of loss or sadness, uh, I feel that the Taurus end is getting over this and not really dwelling as much as they may, uh, as much as they may have in the past, okay? How this person currently feels about the Taurus is the queen of wands. So this is a strong sense of passion. They can see the Torian as somebody who is a go-getter, someone who's an entrepreneur, someone who just makes shit happen, uh, somebody who's just naturally a leader. Okay? Five of Cups in the reverse, but they also have that sense of it too. So I feel like there's something happening that both parties are kind of over it at this point, okay? Now, the next card here is how you've felt for this person in the past. And it's the star card in the verse. So you lost faith in this person. Or maybe in your ability to be with this person. All right? But maybe that's something you kept to yourself. Maybe that's something that you kept a secret. Or maybe it's something that um, this could be you feeling like they were holding secrets as well. But still having that close union. But maybe you felt like they were a little over the top, a little reckless, very selfish. You know, somebody that's all over the place and only thinks about themselves, but in, in a distasteful way, okay? Now, how they feel or how they felt about you in the past is the shadow side, which is the devil card. So this person sees you as something extremely toxic or saw you at least, 
okay? But with the devil card, not only can it be a strong sense of toxicity that they feel, um, it could also be when you have a lot of something that you put into a situation. So, for example, the devil card can come up if you drink too many drinks. If you have sex way too often, let's say you're having it with like five, six different people, but it's happening often, that's when the devil card would come out. Um, you know, it's one thing to have feelings for somebody, but when you have that strong sense of lust and it's over the top lust, the devil card will come out. So anytime we have too much of something is when it could come out. So they could feel like this was purely, uh, you know, based on a lot of lust or maybe that it was very toxic, um, but something here that wasn't healthy. All right, and we have the Knight of Cups, where they saw you as charming, loving, you know, good talk, or somebody who was, um, you know, able to express their emotions very fluidly, but someone that could have been toxic. So your present doubts and fears in this relationship is a Tower card. So going through a huge change, and you guys know with Taurians, um, you know, it, it's difficult for things to change abruptly. All right. And maybe you're fearing that this person is seeing someone else and being dishonest with you about it. Their present doubts and fears is that you stop speaking with them. Okay? But they're fearing or maybe doubting if this could work. They're fearing that you stop talking to them. They're doubting it could work. They're fearing that it's a waste of time. Now... For the Taurus, your external influences, now this is going to be something that they don't have any power or control over. This is something, you know, aside from them in your life. And you have the world card in the reverse. So there could be something else in your life, another person or something that you feel is unfinished that you're still dealing with, that's still in your mind, that's still in your heart. So let's see why this world card in the reverse is here. But this is a chapter that has not closed. The Nine of Cups, and it's something that makes you guys happy. Eight of Cups in the reverse. Someone from the past that may want to come back into your life or maybe someone from your past that you guys want to reach out to. All right. Now, their external influences, which you guys are not going to have control over, is the Page of Wands in the reverse. So maybe this person stops speaking to someone or maybe this person stops speaking to them. Let's see why this Page of uh, Wands in the reverse is here. The Hanged Man in the reverse. So there is something here that was being forced, you know, externally to this uh, situation between the two of you guys. And they're dropping it. They're just cutting it out. Okay. So it could be Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini that you're dealing with, possibly Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Uh, we have all energies that came out. Also Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio as well. Okay. Now, the last card here would be how things work out. Okay, the outcome of all of this. And we have the five of swords, which is conflict. So there could be a lot of conflict here between you and this person. We have the king of cups. Okay, let me get one more card. The king of cups is someone who's very powerful, who's very charismatic, that people naturally just really love. Okay, so I feel like there's going to be conflict between both parties in the future, but a sense of both feeling calm and secure within themselves, okay, but possibly cutting one another out, all right, but on the Taurus end, I see you guys being good, because you're in the upright, and with the nine of swords in the reverse, that you're not really worried about this, but there could be a harsh ending or betrayal that ends things, so let me leave you guys off with some advice, and this is exactly how I would do it in a personal uh, reading, okay, I'll give you guys some advice on how to move forward with this. Give me three cards of advice. For the Torian in this situation.
All right, guys. So from what I'm seeing is that this could be something conflicting and that the best choice may be to part ways amicably. Okay, because I feel like, especially for the Taurian here, you guys may feel like you put so much time and effort, but it's just like you're not getting what you want out of this. All right, so you have the Queen of Pentacles in the verse. She's fed up. She's being petty now. She's not happy, or he's not happy. With the Six of Swords in the verse, for some reason, there's, um, you know, uh, a sense of having a hard time moving away from this. And again, I feel like it could be out of... Uh, the stubbornness of a Taurus, the fact that we get used to something and it's like, okay, well, we've been used to this, so it's hard to walk away from it because we're so used to it. But it's saying to man up, guys, with the emperor, this is someone who's going to make that tough decision. This is someone that it doesn't matter what the mind or the heart is feeling. You know, this person is going to do what's most logical. This person is going to make the best decision for everyone involved. Okay, so ask yourself what's keeping you in this. Is it your stubbornness? Is it your... Fear of being alone? Is it the routine that you love? But do you truly love this person? All right. Taurus, if you guys want this reading, um, on my website, it's called, um, whatchamacallit, What's Going On With Us. Okay. I will leave the link in my description. But I love you guys so much. And if you guys want a smaller version of this, if you don't want to get that full-blown one, you can get How Do They Feel About Me, which is going to, you know, it's a very condensed version of what I just did. But I love you guys so much, and thank you for being patient on allowing this video to come out. But I hope you guys had a blast. I hope that May, and for those uh, April Tauruses, that you guys had an amazing, amazing time. And I hope you guys drink tons of tequila. But I'll speak to you guys soon. Take care and see you in June.